do I get for my birthday? What 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 do I get for my birthday? You gotta put in some work today. you guys and welcome back to my channel it's your girl g baby that's g dot b a b i i and if you don't want to comment everything you already know you can call me the seventh letter in the alphabet and i'm back with another freaking video you guys well, it's been so much going on y'all like we had a freaking taco night the kids also went to a movie premiere for transformers one we started our content creator group back y'all and i am mentoring some new kids and i'm really enjoying doing it we had our first meeting and we will be having our second meeting but before i get into that let me finish telling y'all oh we had a family movie night um, i hurt my knee baby i was trying to teach my baby how to ride a bike it has been a lot a lot of things i could have actually vlogged about and showed y'all what was going on and i just did my apologies I'm just a girl. I'm just a girl. Today, we are going to be having content day with me and the kids that I am helping mentor with social media platforms. This is our content meeting, but it's also just a cutesy little thing that we came up with, which is a, the Pretty in Pink Bridgerton thing tea. Pink everything. It was supposed to be a Pretty in Pink tea party picnic and we were going to do it in the park we had a freaking hurricane happen and it didn't really do too much damage thank you jesus it made me feel like we couldn't go to the park we are having it at the house now we might get ready to go to walmart y'all because i gotta get the stuff like eating stuff that we're gonna have for the party like food wise i was thinking sandwiches croissants all that kind of stuff and i also want to like look at the flowers if y'all new here my name is g baby i am a mom first a talent manager and i'm a full-time content creator nice if you into this type of stuff if you like this type of vibe then go ahead and press that subscribe button and let's get into this video okay y'all we are currently at walmart i'm gonna grab some snacks and treats and stuff for the pink picnic tea party i know we're gonna get some cupcakes i don't know what else i gotta get but i know it's some stuff This kid, this kid wants to eat tacos and hamburgers at a tea party. Who mommy, eats tacos and hamburgers said, at a tea party? Mommy says sandwiches, so said hamburger. Hamburger is a sandwich. I said we making sandwiches at the party tomorrow. We are not eating hamburgers. Like hamburgers? Why are we have hamburgers at a tea party? That is so ghetto. Uh, what you want to eat at the tea party? Oh, me? Mm -hmm. I want some cupcakes, some chicken, hot chicken. What? Why would you have hot? I said hot chicken. <laughs> they ain't got that many cupcakes for some reason. So we're gonna have to figure something else out about cupcakes. I see a lot of cake. Well, I see cupcakes, but they like chocolate and white. Everything we're trying to do is pink. So, of course we're gonna have some other stuff that ain't pink, but mainly pink. And it's hard to find pink cupcakes today. Crazy. But anyway, we got some flowers because the theme is like Bridgerton tea party theme for the kids and the girls gonna be doing a Bridgerton skit on their channel. So we're doing everything like flowers and tea and all kind of pink stuff. And all the people gotta wear pink comb. So yeah, it's gonna be cute. It's gonna be a vibe. The kids don't want sandwiches. I do. Yeah, 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 I do. Y
do want sandwiches. You do want sandwiches? Sandwiches is hamburgers. Hamburgers okay. is not sandwiches. Yeah. Now we need ice cream. Zeta. Ice cream. I'm Zeta. not buying ice cream for a tea party. However, I am going to get some. I reckon I'm going to get some sandwiches. I'm going to make some small sandwiches, but I'm still going to have to make hamburgers because they want hamburgers and tacos. I don't know what kind of tea party. Hamburgers, hot chicken, and tacos at a tea party. Not hot chicken. Just get hamburgers and tacos. No. Hot chicken. I'm going to let them feed it out. No. Even though we got tea cups and tea plates, we are getting like the regular plastic cups, regular plastic plates for them to eat off of when they come tomorrow. Because yeah, they still gotta have regular plates and cups to eat off of, of course. Since it's like Bridgerton thing of like high tea, I'm looking for those little witcher's juices that look like wine bottles. So that's what I'm looking for now. I find it. Y'all read non-alcoholic juice. Because y'all be tripping on social media. This is not alcohol. This is <laughs> juice. Period. So we having a tea party, but the girls don't want no tea. Bruh. I'm like, we can get a jug tea. They still don't want it. They don't want no tea. So we gonna have lemonade at our tea party. Pink lemonade. We gonna make it ourselves at home. I was gonna buy pink lemonade, but I was like, we can make pink lemonade at home. So we just gonna make pink lemonade. I'm gonna grab some of these little pink flowers because the theme is pink and flowers. So it's like mandatory and they on, well they ain't on sale, but they $3 and that ain't bad. So the $3 little flowers, we just add some stuff in their centerpiece and all that kind of stuff and make it like pop, show a cute little color on their table because I want their table to be set up real girly and pink for them too. So yeah, that's, that's something I'm gonna have to get. Let me grab that right quick. Okay, I didn't know that. That'll definitely work. I hate the fact that they got the little fle feathers things that I wanted y'all. Because I wanted to sit those on the centerpiece. But they don't got nothing pink. These are cute. They pick up their food with that. They also got these and these. But I actually got this stuff real. Like real plates and stuff. So... I don't know if I'm going to get that. These would be cute, but they got like a blue purpley trimming, and I need pink. It ain't nobody's birthday, so no point of that one. No point of that one at all. I like the flower and like, you know, cute little flower look or whatever, but the theme is pink, so I don't want to bring out too much of this stuff. I kind of want to stick to my pink look and just pop some of this in there. You get what I'm saying? I already ordered the pillowcases offline. They was like a dollar. I got a whole bunch of pillowcases. Now I'm over here looking at the pillows. I'm trying to find like a pillow that's on clearance and I can just stuff it in the pillowcase. But baby, they clearance pillows is hitting $14. And, and uh, the cheapest one I see is six bucks for a clearance pillow. I paid a dollar for the pillowcase. We, we finna stuff this thing with some cotton or something. We finna figure this out other than this. Cause it ain't nothing for booties to sit on. Why I'm paying so much money for booties to sit on something. Let's be for real. Finally got done at Walmart, and I don't think I need anything else for the event. So 
hopefully we got everything now and we can just go home and set everything up the right way a few minutes later i have made it all the way back home and i was going through the stuff that we got for the tea Oh, yeah, y'all. I am going to show y'all everything that we got. But, like, I was going through all the stuff that we do have. And, like, I really want to keep that Bridgerton, like, Lady Whistledown thing going throughout the tea. Like, the girls are really big on this being a um, Bridgerton thing. So, bringing that, the Lady Whistledown look to it is really important. The girls ain't never seen Bridgerton before, y'all. Like, Bridgerton is a show I wouldn't let them watch at the moment, but they have been on TikTok and everything like that. And I do watch the stuff that they be watching, and they just been a lot of people do teas with Bridgerton thing, and the whole thing this time was like a picnic slash tea. So once they realized that people were doing the teas with Bridgerton theme and like how they were dressing up and all this stuff like that, that is how they came up with the whole thing of Bridgerton being tea but i do want to like spark that bridgerton type vibes for their tea if you get what i'm saying i think i'm about to get my laptop and just make some pdfs with like the lady whistle down logo on it and stuff like that and probably go to staples if they open y'all a storm just happened just last night and it's so beautiful outside like it is shining but just last night, it was a whole freaking hurricane here. A lot of these stores and stuff might not be open. So, I don't know if Staples open because all the power was out over that way earlier. So, I don't know if they got all that situated. But I'm probably going to have to head over to Staples and print those out. Because, like I said, I do want to keep that thing going. And if Staples ain't open, I'm going to call over there and see first. And if Staples ain't open, then I would probably... I'm going to try to figure something else out because I don't have a printer. I got a computer, but I ain't got the printer. But um, either way, I can make the PDFs. I'm just going to figure out how to print them out today. And, yeah, we're going to have that sitting probably on the table for displays and stuff like that. But I'm about to go ahead and make that now. I transferred the PDF from the laptop to the phone. Oh, you ain't tough off. Oh, you ain't flint stones. Oh, you took a little roller off. Oh, you ain't big stones. Oh, you ain't two inch in. Oh, you ain't green toes. Oh, you ain't trained on that beach. Oh, you ain't ding dong. Oh, you ain't kingpin. Oh, you ain't wings in. Oh, you ain't hands on. Oh, you ain't seen it. Oh, you ain't demon. She's not the demon. Oh, you had king, man, that I have a stream, man, and you went flying business first, and you went driving around the world, and you went flying like sports. Meanwhile, Shout out to my mama for doing my lady whistle down board. I'm finna trace it in, y'all, um, with a black marker. I'm just gonna trace around everything, add some like little extra details to it, stuff like that, and then it should be done. We got like this little post board stand. We're gonna stand it up on, and we're gonna add some pretty little decor around it. So I'm gonna show y'all everything. This would have been so cute in the park, y'all, but. Yeah, we're going to do it at the house, and it's going to still be a vibe. It's still going to be a vibe. So let me go ahead and trace this in, and then I'll show y'all what it looks like in the end. Exist. I'm his main, I'm his side, I'm every woman that's 
Okay, y'all, I already know that my mama is like a party planner or whatever, so she have a lot of stuff that she used for her events and stuff around. So I had grabbed this, and I think it'd be cute for like the picture to sit on. Let me show y'all. So yeah, y'all, it's this little cute little black stand, and it gonna stand up on that. And I think that's gonna be cute. But of course, we're gonna add some more little decor and stuff like that. So I'll be back to show y'all what we're working with. Okay, y'all, I told y'all I had some pillow. Can y'all see me? Hold on. Let me make that sound light. Let there be light. Okay, I told y'all I had got some pillowcases for like a dollar. But some of them was two dollars. I got these. These was a dollar. What do I give for my birthday? What do I give for my birthday? You got that bad ass on birthday. So that's what it looks like. And I'm going to fill these up myself, y'all. Because... Yeah, or either I'm going to use some pillows that I got around the house. And if I run out, I'm going to fill them up. I got an idea. I'm going to fill them up with some towels. I'm going to fold those towels up. And I'm just going to put them in here because it's just to sit a booty on for a couple of hours. A booty. It's going to be just fine and soft and cushioned. And this is the pinky fluffy ones, y'all. And this is what it looked like stuffed with a towel. A towel. Look just like a pillow. You can't even tell the difference. This is a towel. I got these, $2. I got these, and I'm not sure how much these cost y'all because I actually found these in my mom's party stuff. So I don't know how much these cost or even when these came about. But they are pillowcases. It's two of them. So I'm going to use them because the colors is light pink, dark pink, 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 and just a splash of gold. I'm going to stuff these with the pillows that I got at the house. That ain't nobody using on their bed. If I don't got that, then towel, towel. Period. Much, much, much later. We are actually going to be having the whole party here in the playroom, so I'm gonna have to clean everything out of here. They got the doll houses, the game system, the air hockey table, all that kind of stuff. I'm gonna be loading it up, laying it down, and packing it out. So we can actually put up the decor for the event in this room. I guess I'm going to go ahead and get started doing that, y'all. I don't know how long that's going to take. I'm not going to take this down. That is really tacked on that wall, y'all. I don't know how to even start on taking this down. So I'm not going to take this down. Everything else, I'm going to take down. Everything else must go. dishes. I ain't got to show y'all all that. And I'm probably going to get ready to go to bed because yeah, we're going to set up the stuff in a few hours. 
and I might not go big. I don't know yet. I might go ahead and set stuff up. Yeah, we'll see what I'm feeling like in a minute. Okay, y'all. Before I start washing the dishes, my mama came up with this really like cutesy idea to like put flower petals inside of the ice cubes. Um, these aren't the ice cubes that we're gonna be like drinking. They're more like the decorative ice cubes that's gonna be like on the drinks and stuff like that. So, yeah, we got like little ice cube tray. And what I'm gonna do is put the real flowers inside of the ice tray and put water in the inside of it and go ahead and freeze that so y'all can see in the morning what it turned out like. So this is what we're working with before I go to bed, y'all. I set up some of it, and I'll finish the rest in the morning. The next morning. a good morning at bed period your girl just took a good long shower brushed her teeth gotta take care of them teeth period make sure you brush the tongue too really excited for today i got a lot of stuff already prepared and ready you know my mom actually gonna help me put together the rest of the stuff we got a lot of food to go cook i gotta make a few store runs to grab some last minute stuff like ice and all that kind of stuff that i forgot and my mom gonna help cook the food. We finna try to make some new stuff that I ain't never made before. <laughs> it ain't gonna be nothing too complicated. We kind of like 
since the girls want to make tacos, hamburgers, shrimp, all that kind of stuff, we're going to try to, like, make some cute shrimp kebabs. I done made it before. And, like, hamburger shots, I made it before. But I ain't never made the little tacos out of the wontons or, um, or, um, what is it called? Egg roll wraps. Egg roll wraps. But, um, uh, we had seen that, um, YouTube, another creator had made the wonton tacos and the egg roll, like, wrapped tacos. So, we're going to try to do that, hopefully, and see if that work out. And we're going to cook that, hamburgers, some pig in the blankets, I think. If not, I'm just going to make some tiny little sausages or something for the kids to eat. Ham, um, I said it, sandwiches and shrimp, I think. A lot of little cutesy food for them to just grab off the table and eat and stuff like that. But also, it ain't just cutesy food because my kids wanted to be ghetto and they wanted to add in hamburgers and tacos and stuff like what? So I had to go find some cute ideas to make hamburgers and tacos fit with the aesthetic of everything going on. My bun looks so crazy, y'all. Don't pay it no attention. It fell out while I was in the shower. It don't matter. It don't even matter. I don't even think I'm wearing my hair in a bun today. But I got to get a move on, brush, and hurry because content is still got to be made. I got to go out. Uh, I'm going to do a get ready with me, I think. I'm going to show y'all the outfits I got first because I really don't know what I'm wearing. And then I'm going to do a get ready with me video. I'm also going to do um some TikTok dances with the kids because they got like their own little dances that they want me to participate with them and do. So I'm going to do that. And we got to go ahead out and do that because I want to have some greenery while we do it since it's supposed to be an outside picnic, but it ended up being inside. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and get ready because we got so much stuff on the plate to do today from cooking to setting up other stuff. Even though I showed y'all as far as I got last night, it's so much more I got to do. So, I'm going to go ahead and set up that stuff, uh, do those content videos, and yeah, I got to go ahead and get going. So, I'm going to talk to y'all in a little bit. Okay, you guys, with the theme being Bridgerton, I have two dress options. I'm not really sure which one I want to wear yet. I got this one. It got my kids gave me this a few years ago for Mother's Day, and it got some pink flowers on it. So you can wear anything as long as it got pink in it. But I'm leaning more towards this one because it just give a pink party thing, even though it's white and pink. It just, I just feel like this one is better, even though. No shade to my yellow and pink dress. I think I'm going to wear my pink and white dress. But yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think. Also, I got some pearls I'm going to wear. Some little gloves. Uh, this is for my kids, but you know, it's cute still. And a little um, sun hat and all this stuff. Y'all, I just really wish I could have went outside and did this. It would have been such a vibe. Such a vibe. But yeah, let me go ahead and get dressed because time is flying for real.
Did y'all see the decor? Only thing we was missing was it to be outside at the freaking park. If we was at the park, baby, you couldn't tell us nothing. Because you know that would have been so freaking fine with greenery. Like, imagine that same setup on grass with the natural trees and the natural flowers. If it was any flowers out there, I doubt it. But still, you know that natural green would have just, it would have. It would have set it off. It would have set it off and you know it. They were missing a violin player or, or a cello or something like that. So they'd be like, uh, play the, the Bridgerton theme song. Do, 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 Oh, boy, that would have, that would have set it. Clock T. I really feel like everything was really cute. I really do wish I could have had somebody to play the freaking violin or something, though. Mmm. Mmm. I mean, mwah. oh, I can just feel them. <laughs> Yesterday, we were supposed to be cooking, like, tacos. I was telling y'all we was going to do the, the tacos with the warm tongs and, and all that kind of stuff. We didn't even get to that. Like, my mom ended up cooking everything by herself. Shout out to my mama because she always there to help me even though she be complaining on the slide. But still, she always going to come over and help me do what I got to do. Get everything done with me and I really appreciate it. I can deal with you bickering and going back and forth for me, sis. That's fine. Long as I get some help, baby. Long as I get some help. Shout out to my mama because she did come through. She did help with the decor. She did help with the food. Like, she did all the food by herself. So, yeah. It is really good to have people on your team who will actually help you, so, wow, no balls. I had a good time yesterday. I feel like all the kids had a good time yesterday. The content was contenting, okay? We definitely came up with a lot of content when I did go back and look at the freaking videos and everything that was going on. However, it wasn't what was planned content, but content nonetheless. So, last time we did content group, we did, like, a whole bunch of shorts. This time, I feel like everybody came up with a whole bunch of full videos. Now, the thing is, we didn't get to knock out a lot of the shorts that we had planned, and I did apologize to people for that, but them full videos is full videoing, okay? Okay, the content is contenting. I'm still proud of everybody for everything that was done because the work is going to speak for itself. Make sure you go and subscribe to my daughter's channel, you guys, the Dennis Sisters. I am super proud of my babies because this month they gained over a thousand subscribers. I'm not surprised because they did shorts. I have noticed firsthand myself that shorts bring you in a chunk of subscribers. They posted a short every day this month and they gained amazingly from it. I actually did this exact same thing on my own channel in December. And when I did that in December of last year, I gained over a thousand subscribers. The crazy thing is, I also did this with full videos in October last year, which was my Vlogtober vlogs, and I posted full videos. Like, I post a full video every day instead of a short video, and I only gained about 300 or 400 subscribers. So, I'm telling you now, the big difference in between shorts and full videos with bringing in subscribers if you do a combination of both, there's no telling how much you can bring in, though. So, keep that in mind. I'm also very proud of Miracle and Anaya, you guys. They are the two little girls that I am mentoring. Um, Y'all, make sure y'all go and subscribe to their channel as well. They are doing a great job. I actually seen a great improvement from last time we met to this time. The progress is coming. And on top of it, the talent is there. Y'all just keep push it and doing what y'all doing also go subscribe to zara's world zara is just transitioning to youtube from instagram of course she's still on instagram so y'all can go uh you know uh follow her on ig subscribe to her on youtube 
she about to get started more on her YouTube channel and she gonna be posting more frequently on her YouTube channel. So y'all make sure y'all subscribe to Zara's World because Zara gonna be doing her big one over there too. She already got a couple of shorts. So make sure y'all check out her shorts feed. Like I'm really excited about the fact that I started back up the content group. Cause I'm just not one of those gatekeeper type of people. Like I'm not just here to see just my kids succeed on social media. I really like helping other people succeed with everything. And the whole point of this time with Content Creative Group, I am teaching people the fact that you don't have to have a whole bunch of subscribers to, to gain from social media. You don't have to have a whole bunch of people who like watching everything you do all the time. Creating content is bigger than that. And once you realize that, that's when you will profit from content. So the whole point of this group is profit from content. Do what you love to do and profit from it. My goal is to teach people how to profit regardless if it's money, uh, brand deals, clothes, whatever the case may be, you're going to profit from the content that you put out. At the end of the day, I'm not here just to watch my children be successful. Like I said, it's enough food on the plate for everybody to eat. So grab a fork. I want to see all my content babies be successful. All of my content babies will be successful. We're going to speak that into existence. Period. Today is another very busy day. So I'm already dressed, ready. I'm about to get ready to go. I really feel tired, like I ain't get enough sleep from last night and doing the whole tea party and stuff, but hey, motion is motion, so I got to keep moving. Uh, I'm up, I'm dressed, I'm ready. I got the kids up, they dressed, they ready. Y'all make sure y'all come back to see what we got going on. With that being said, your girl got to go. So I'm wishing y'all a whole lot of peace, love, and blessings. And remember, if it ain't about the bad, then we ain't stressing. Period.